Hey guys, Lizardly here. This video is going to be all about that leaf right there. So no cross-stitching here. But while I was looking for pictures of Greybeard, I came across videos and other pictures I took while working on other cross-stitches. A lot were for the epic Pokemon cross-stitch. So if you guys want to see those, and actually I do have at least one video of as soon as I finish the Circle of Wolves, or Call of the Wolves, whatever it's called. And I haven't changed much since I did it. <laughs> and uh, I have a couple videos of me lip singing while working on the Pokemon Cross Stitch. If I take out the songs, I can show you guys the entire clip. And they're kind of amusing because I'm a dork. So, you know, if you guys want to see those, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I had at least two people, maybe more, I'm not sure right now, but I said that they'd like to see Greybeard. So, we had him before digital cameras became a big thing. Like, I think we had a really crappy one the last couple of years we had him. So the majority of pictures are like this. A developed picture rather than a digital. So, as you can see, Tessa looks exactly like him. I did find a couple pictures that were like digital pictures, so the quality is really good. And this is not one of them. I think we only have like two copies of this picture. I have one and my grandma has the other. I have pictures of Greybeard and Ruby and Tessa and Ruby, so you know you should be able to compare those. And I think I actually have one where Greybeard and Ruby are here and Tessa and Ruby are here. And Tessa, or not Tessa, Ruby never changed color. She was always, you know, orange. So if you compare the two, it, it's a, it, I don't know if I used a flash in the one with Tessa and Ruby, or if it was just the camera had brighter pictures, or the lighting was brighter, anything like that. If you look at the two, you can see that it's a little bit brighter. So they're the exact same color otherwise. Um, yeah, like... <sighs> They're the exact same. Oh my goodness. Right, Tess? Huh? Come here. Come here. Yeah! Come here. Get up here with your Lizzie. This video is about you. Come here. Come on over here. Come here. There we go. Okay. Tess? Okay, I'm not holding you properly. I'm sorry. There we go. There we go. She says, I am the same kitty. Ah, look forward. Look forward. Just look forward. <laughs> huh? Huh? How's that? You look so offended. I'm so mean to you, baby. Yeah, I'm so mean. He was really talkative, too. <laughs> but yeah, like, the majority of you guys are really familiar with Tessa, so you'll be able to tell the difference between the two, like I can, very easily. But they look so much alike. Like, no joke, we believed my dad when he said they, that she was cloned from him. <laughs> like, and I was old enough, man. I was old enough to know better. <laughs> so, yeah. Without further ado, here are some pictures. <laughs> See, there really aren't very many of him. Wow. <laughs> I kind of feel bad because I have like thousands of pictures of Ruby and Tessa. Like thousands. And that's only me. That's not including all of my other family members that have cameras. <laughs> so, yeah. But I mean, just looking at them, you can see she looks so much like him. And her and Ruby got along 
just as wonderfully. I mean, it's crazy. Now I need to get gloves and I can be a Sailor Scout. Because my nails are blue, I'm going to be Sailor Mercury. Although my hair is more reminiscent of Sailor Jupiter. Who cares? I also painted my toenails. Blue toenails! If you can see <laughs> I just did that. I just did that. In a video that's supposed to be about cats. I showed you guys my painted toenails. <laughs> oh. But yeah, like those those are the only pictures I could find that were of a good quality, like I I wish we had more pictures of Greybeard. I'm sorry. Like I I looked through all of my albums which are here. <laughs> all of that is filled with pictures. And all the pictures I found of Greybeard were the same ones that I found for the video. Besides this one. And he's actually really young here, so um yeah <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to see like pictures and videos I have of Tessa and Ruby because there are a ton of those <laughs> I I don't think we have any videos of Greybeard if we do they're on VHS tapes yeah <laughs> I they're either on VHS tapes or they're in storage somewhere where obviously I won't be able to get them for you guys. Sorry. Um, but yeah, like, look through those pictures and then look at Tessa and they look so much alike. I, oh, it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> So yeah, this is going to be a really short video, but I guess I can give you guys an update on how everything is going. Tiger of the Heavens Day 11. I've finished Tiger of the Heavens, alright? It's done. But Day 11 keeps getting a copyright claim on one song. And the entire album that I've been using for Tiger of the Heavens lately are, like, old songs that are remixed. And they're given permission to do so. And then the songs that are remixed, when they're done, have no copyright. They are in the public domain, so you can use them. Okay? I can use them. But the company who original, who did the original song is like, oh no, you can't use this. Oh no. No. Yeah, copyright claims. And I disputed it, and then they rejected it. Like, I doubt they even listened to the remix. They probably just like, nope, it sounds so much alike, even though it doesn't. It sounds nothing like the original. Like, the original is an orchestra, like actual instruments. And then the remix is all computerized. Or at least it really freaking sounds computerized to me. <laughs> uh, nah. But, uh, so that one, I was just like, you know, if I dispute it again, and they reject it again, I'll get a strike on my account. And I really don't want that. So I tried to remove the songs. And that first time it was successful. And then I got a not another copyright claim on that same song. On the first section of it. Yeah. That original copyright claim was only for a small portion of the entire song. So, like, it didn't even flag the entire six minutes worth of music. It only went for, like, two minutes. Clearly, they're different enough because I didn't put any splits in that song. It goes the entire six minutes. It never stops. So, clearly, the songs aren't enough alike for the entire thing to get flagged. So, when I disputed that second one, I, I wrote that information in there. I was like, you know, you're only... Just, you know, I, you're only claiming a small portion of the song against me. Clearly, they're not that much alike. And, I mean, I, I linked directly to that specific song 
I wrote that, you know, the song starts at this time and it goes to here. And you're only disputing me for this small part right here. And then I was like, you know, but if you guys really, really don't want me to use this song, I would really appreciate it if you would either let me remove it in its entirety through the YouTube settings or allow me to download my video so I can get rid of the entire song manually. Right now, I can't download it back to my laptop because of that copyright claim. Which really annoys me because it's my video. Like, if this had only happened a few days ago, I would have still had all the files on my laptop and it wouldn't have mattered. But I had to delete them when I was saving other days because I don't have enough space on my laptop. And I only have one laptop, so I do everything on this one laptop. And like, I hope they get back to me soon and they're just like, okay, like, you can download it and get rid of our song. Even though it's not ours, it's a remix of ours. Pissing me off so much. <laughs> I, I've started downloading songs directly from YouTube that are free, and I'm just gonna start using those. Like, I am so sick and tired of having all of these problems. It is driving me insane because not only does it just annoy me that I have to, you know, go through this whole process to try and allow people to watch my videos that have songs that are free and in the public domain. You guys have to wait until after it's all solved in order to watch them. Like, I finished that cross-stitch days ago. But you guys haven't even seen day 11 yet. Like, days 12 and 13 are ready to go, but I don't want to publish them out of order. And day 11 was like the worst day ever because I made a huge mistake. And I just, I can't like not let you guys see that. I mean, worst comes to worst, I will make a copy of the song from YouTube, getting rid of all the audio. So then I'll have the visual and I'll be able to download that. And then I'll either re-record it, I mean, it's not going to line up perfectly with what I'm talking about, unfortunately. Or, which will have the same problem here, I will record it while I'm playing the original file and I'll just cut the music and put new music in. Like, do you guys have a preference? If they reject it again, would you like me to re-record it or attempt to record what is already there? Because I can record narration. So, like, I can play the video while I'm on YouTube, record it on Movie Maker, and place it in that file. I read somewhere that the, uh, not the, the format, I guess, the quality is lower when you download it. But I'd rather give you guys a lower quality than nothing. <sighs> it's driving me nuts. Oh, if anyone's wondering, it's a Garfield cup. It says, um, uh, this is the only alarm clock I need to set. And he's holding his tummy because, you know, he loves to eat. So he's going by his grumbling tummy. It's great. It's great. I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, because I'm, however long day 11 is going to take, <clears throat> I guess I can give you guys an update. This is the project I plan on doing next, and it's going to be for my best friend Megan for Christmas, hopefully, or possibly her birthday. Um, I'm actually, the, it comes on 14 count cloth, fabric, whatever. I'm thinking I might do it on 18 or even 28 count because, like, it's massive. 14 by 18. The tiger cross stitch was 13 by 13. So it's going to be much bigger on 14 count for this. And it's been long enough. Like, it's been almost a year. I bought this around Christmas time when I was over there visiting her. She won't know. She won't know that it was supposed to be on 14 count. <laughs> and I have a ton of white fabric, so. Um, and it'll probably go faster if it's smaller. I won't have to reframe it as often. Yeah. I said at the beginning that this video had nothing to do with cross-searching. Right. <laughs> so, uh, I want to do this. And then I might go to Michael's and get one of those really simple ones that are really cute and give it to her parents or her whole family for the household. 
and then I'll do the Phoenix. But I will say though, um, I recently learned that my Google page, I can make a poll. So if you guys would like me after I do this one, because I, I'm going to do this one. I'm really sorry if you guys don't like it, but I, I want to do it for my friend because I bought it for her. Um, if you guys like, I can pull up that poll. I don't know how many options I can make, but depending on that, I can put all of my cross stitches in there and, you know, include books and then have an option where it's like, you know, tell me in a video a specific one you want from like a book or, you know, something like that or one online and I can put all the, those in there and then you guys can just vote right there. If I can allow you guys to see the results, I will. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll get a video of when it's over. But, um, yeah, if you guys want me to do that, let me know. But I can make a poll. I mean, I guess worst comes to worst, I could do, like, Survey Monkey. I think Survey Monkey is free, right? If it's not, I don't want to do it. <laughs> but uh, people seemed interested in me doing the Phoenix, so... It'll probably be like the first option on the poll, so people don't have to be like, well, I already voted on this, you just go, done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you guys want me to do that, like, either after I finish her, or if you just want me to straight up do the Phoenix next and not worry about the poll until later, I can do it after the Phoenix. Like, from then on, if you guys want to be able to vote and not have to worry about me keeping tally marks on all the comments, I can totally do that. Like, that would be awesome. I, I might put this at the beginning of the video so people can see it if they're actually interested in some cross-stitching. Yeah. Or maybe I'll like put an annotation and be like, hey, more information at this time, skip ahead. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to talk about, and hopefully, it, it should be a really short video, so I should be able to edit this really quickly and get it up, hopefully sometime today. Today is Saturday, October 10th? October 10th. Ugh. So, yeah, I think that's all I will have for today, so I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully will be day 11 if Tiger of the Heavens <laughs> Bye. <laughs>